Hey, this is Gina, and I want to talk to you today about one of my very favorite masks. I know I always say this, I feel so silly sometimes. One of my favorite things, but I do have so many favorite things. And uh, that's pretty much all I collect on auto skincare are my favorite things. And so sometimes I'll have a favorite thing and it's not necessarily my favorite thing, but it's my favorite thing for a particular client. So um, this is one that actually is one of my personal favorites as well as something that I love for a lot of my clients. This is the Farmhouse Fresh Pajama Paste. This pajama paste is amazing for anybody who tends to get redness in their skin. It will actually zap that redness, pull it out of your skin for two full days after you use it. It's amazing. But not only that, it's an anti-inflammatory mask. So a lot of times, especially people who have rosacea or have sensitive skin, they may notice that their pores look larger and they don't really, you don't really have larger pores. What you have going on is you have inflammation of the skin. So it's a little puffy and those pores are puffy. So it makes them look larger. This mask will actually help pull any debris out of the pores, but it also will soothe that inflammation so that those pores look like they've shrunk and they're much smaller. Now, as you know, everyone knows we cannot shrink a pore, but we can remove that inflammation around the pore and then the pore looks much smoother, flatter, smaller. And so this mask is amazing. I'm going to go ahead and put it on right now while I'm talking to you and then I'm going to show you some ways to enhance it. So what I do when I use this mask is I get some out. I actually use my moon dip spatula and I will get some out and I put it into a little ramekin. From there, I can go ahead and use a brush. My favorite brush is the Sorella Apothecary Mask Brush. This is not that brush because as you know, the Sorella one has two tips on there. I just left mine in the treatment room and I'm not in my treatment room today, so I don't have it here to show you but I love it because it has two sizes and you can get in those smaller areas. It's also a really wonderful soft brush. So I'm going ahead and applying this mask to clean, very clean skin. Now the scent, because you know, I'm really, I'm that scent person. I love how things smell. I don't like perfume at all, but I love natural scent to things. So this has a little bit of a kind of an oat and cinnamon scent to it, but not oatmeal-ish. It's really fresh. When you put this on and you have sensitive skin, you're gonna be like, oh no, Gina, what did you do? Because you're gonna feel some tingling. That tingling does not cause inflammation. It's not burning your skin at all. It just has a little active feel on the skin. And you can see I'm not turning red. Feels wonderful. I'm gonna go ahead and get my chest on my neck and my chest. See if I can see in my mirror. There we go, got my chest up there. Great. Now, come in just gently around the eyes. Everywhere, lips. I always put every mask on my lips. Now, I want to get the most out of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a trick. I'm grabbing my My Skin Buddy. We call it at our skincare, we call it our MSB. Grab my MSB. When you push once, that's the cleansing mode. So you could do this with the cleansing mode because it is helping to cleanse the pores. But I actually want to send some of these soothing and healing ingredients into the skin. So I'm gonna choose the green mode. Really doesn't matter which LED you use with this. Since we have a mask on, not that much LED is gonna get in there. So if you really wanted to, you could switch it to the setting where you have um, no light on at all. Now I'm gonna give a little spritz, of course, Isocell Recovery Solution. This is the mineral solution that just works best with all of our ultrasonic devices. So I'm just wetting the mask a bit. So I have a little extra moisture on there and now I am going to work this mask into my skin with the My Skin Buddy. Now, if you have a skin perfecter at home, let's find My Skin Perfector, it looks like this. You could also use that to infuse the mask into your skin. If you have ice globes, ice globes are fabulous. That cooling action will drive the ingredients deeper into the skin. 
Now, as it starts to dry out, if you need to, just re-spritz and wet your skin again, and it will continue to work this mask into your skin. Now, I'm gonna try an experiment with you because I do this on my facials, on my clients all the time in a treatment room, but I'm not sure how this is gonna work, this next step on doing it on yourself. So you get to watch me test this out. I'm turning off my My Skin Buddy. I'm gonna go ahead and spritz again really well. So I have good wet skin. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take my Skin Perfector to start the removal of this mask. So I'm turning the power on, I'm pushing the power mode. If you have really sensitive skin, you can keep it on low, but most everybody, even most sensitive skin types can use it on high. You just don't wanna to use too much pressure when you're pushing this into the skin. Now, normally if I would go up like this, the spray that comes off of this would, I would blow up into my eyes. And that's why I'm not so sure about doing it on myself. My thought though, is that we can do this if we use a downward motion, the spray that's coming off of it is going downward and it's not coming into your eyes and it's working perfectly. So here's one of my, I call it the art of skincare and I've always called it that because in the treatment room, I've always seen working with the skin, doing a facial is artwork. It's experimentation and creativity. And so here you get to witness it firsthand testing this out, using this tool. Now I'm using a two by two. These are our toner pads. I'm using that to wipe off the mask as I go. And this is just popping it out of my pores and off my skin and lifting off some old dry skin cells at the same time. Because a lot of people who have sensitive skin also have very dry skin. So this is a really great non-acidic way to get a good exfoliation without causing inflammation or irritating the skin. That worked pretty great. So when I go upward, I'm gonna put a little water on my forehead so we still have some good moisture here. Wipe off my device. And I'm gonna go upward because that way it won't spray down in my eyes when I'm going upward. It's almost like shaving. And I used to have a client, she felt, she would tell me, I want you to do that shaving thing on my face because she loved this device and it's not removing any hair but it feels like a blade that's kind of shaving the skin you don't have to worry about cutting yourself or anything like that it's definitely not that sharp but there you go there's a couple of extra ways to use this great mask with some fun tools now what i would do is i would just take one of our lush cloths you can get these in our reward center at Art of Skin Care, they're free. And I would use that to remove the leftover mask that's on my face. And the skin just feels really invigorated and fresh. It feels wonderful. So I encourage you to pick up some of the Farmhouse Fresh masks. In particular, if you have redness, check out this pajama paste, and then get your tools out and start playing with it this week. Try your ice globes, your derma, derma red or derma blue, the My Skin Buddy, and the Skin Perfector, and have some fun giving yourself a little power facial this week.